Kanye out there looking like Kanye G- Kanye out there looking like Squid yeah. Games. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> like if you put a triangle on that shit, he look like one of them people that work at the Squid Games. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, the Double Toasted Live Tour is coming to an end with our final show in Dallas, Texas. February 18th at Viva's Lounge. I'm trying to get an after party spot for all you VIPs and super VIPs, so get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com and I'll see you soon. We're not gonna talk about your boy? Who? Kanye. Oh, man, I've been looking at the chat and people, I seen your comments as, ever since we started the show, everybody's been begging you to talk about Kanye West and okay. his craziness. I mean, there's so much to talk about with Kanye West. What do you do? I know, I know he's, the Billy been, he's, about to put a, he's about to put a hit out on Pete, Pete Davidson or something. <laughs> yeah, man. Just a brief overview. If us, we, I don't know, because I saw that in the comments and people really want to hear what? your perspective on the now, craziness from Kanye. Was he in? Was he at the Super Bowl? Had his full like mask on or something? Yeah, like that's that? right. He w- he was completely masked, and the whole thing is he only had like, like a couple of holes in his mask, and he couldn't even view the f- Super Bowl. Let me see this. <laughs> Kanye yeah. out there looking like Jeez, like, Kanye, Kanye out there looking like Squid yeah. Games. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like if you put a triangle on that shit, he looked like one of them people that work at the Squid Games. Yeah, <laughs> I- I'm not really buying this 100. percent This this crazy bullshit with him. You know, mm. you get to a point where people realize if I say anything or do any crazy thing, people gonna watch. People gonna come out, and he gets a pass on everything, man. He gets, yeah, on everything, man. Yeah, this, this is stupid, man. I'm not. Y'all can sit up here and say, "Oh, he's mentally ill." Oh, there's something going on. Maybe, yeah. but I'm not buying this bullshit, man. I'm, yeah, I, 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 no. If he look, mother is a billionaire. All right, so if you if you some there's something wrong with you, go get some help. Which I yeah. know you have to want to get help. And he's kind of mm. he's kind of being uh, enabled by his money. Yeah, I get right. that, but f- I, 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 Kanye's full of shit to me, yeah. and y'all keep giving Kanye a pass. I said this already. <laughs> Kanye has said Kanye has said like the most racist shit right up there with some of your most racist white people. Yep. Mm. And y'all still talking about yeah, man, but the music. His music. <laughs> yeah, well, not even the music. It's those crazy shoes he's putting out. Yeah. Oh man, he put out. He just put out a, a jacket on the on, on Gap that looks like a hefty garbage bag. Nah. <laughs> Let me see if I can find yeah, this man. Gap Kanye jacket. Look at this. Y'all are being suckered by this man. This man can sell yeah, y'all. Really, y'all buying shoes that look like they've been like somebody ran ten miles in that shit already. Yeah. Look like it. You used to find shoes like that. On the bottom rack at Goodwill. Yep. <laughs> and they got you so uh, uh, mind control. You you thinking that we sound like a bunch of boobas out here talking about, well, back in my day, those aren't you. What you wearing now, aren't you? Nah, man. No. What you got on your feet looking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye selling y'all f- st- uh, slave shirts. Shit with holes yes. in it and <clears throat> look like moths already got them. And he'll charge you. Close hundreds, to a thousand, hundreds, yeah, hundreds of, not of a thousand dollars for that. Y'all be man, it's a cult. It's a cult mentality. All right, Big you can time. you can call us boomers. You can call us stupid. You can yeah, call us haters. You, like. you can call us ignorant. You, you whatever, man. You know, you can call us killjoys. But this is a fucking cult, and y'all are falling for it. And Kanye is just proving how much bullshit the rest of society is. Look at this goddamn jacket right here. That shit. I, I took my trash out today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I met yeah. so many people who want to come out, you want to want to go at people, talking about man, nobody better say no black shit, nobody better say something against black people. Oh my God, uh, uh, believe women, uh, 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 me too. Hashtag me too. Mm-hmm. Kanye does all he does all that shit to go against it, and y'all y'all you bend over backwards to or you putting your head up your ass just to defend this man. Yep. And I know this because I had a talk with Danielle the other day and I said, Danielle, I said, I, don't, I, just, I didn't even get in the conversation. I just said, I heard everybody talking about Kanye. And of course it got to me and they're like, what you think about Kanye? It's like, listen, I'm just want to say this. I don't with Kanye in the discussion. Mm-hmm. Of course, everybody had to drag me in and the, I heard some of the dumbest arguments. You mean a man who gave us all this music? All of a sudden, you're just going to disregard all that? Who was a man that? who gave that, us so much? Wait, wait, was that Danielle? That was Danielle and a couple other people. God, I was just damn. like, I was like, so, right. so you falling for that shit with somebody? You're going to say that this man deserves a pass because he gave us music? Like that's a f-ing gift from God? 
No, right. people just don't want to give that up. Kanye said exactly. some of the most racist shit. Yep. Kanye has done some of the most racist shit. Yep. And Kanye has brought out people who have Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson is. I'm not saying, I'm saying allegedly. I don't know what happened. All these, he has all these cases against him, all these uh, women coming out talking about him. He's a sexual assaulter. Yep. And people, and he brought him out on one of his shows, and y'all just applauded this shit like nothing happened. F*** Kanye <laughs> and f*** everything around him. And y'all, y'all see this weirdness, and y'all just, y'all fall for it. This shit is marketing, man. I mean, on his part, cool. Because that's what, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be marketing savvy. But and he's got a brand now for being insane. But f- that whole thing with Billy I- uh, Eilish. Oh, Billy uh, Eilish. Eilish, sorry, Eilish. Yeah, the um, his because she helped a fan that couldn't breathe in one concert, and he was like, "Man, she's beefing with her, his boy, uh, who's uh, Travis Scott, right? His boy, the Travis Scott concert where people died during mm-hmm. the concert." Yeah, yeah, let's see here. Yeah. yeah, I heard the thing with him and Billy Eilish. That was last week. <clears throat> no, but still yeah. going because they're still going back and forth because uh, he still has some point. Like he wants a public apology, some bullshit. That, yeah, like, that's, what did she? She said that somebody was having an asthma attack, and she says, "I stopped to help my fans." Yeah, yeah. well, you know what? It has nothing to do with him or his <laughs> friend. Oh, right. Right. By the way, I'm not saying thing against. Travis Scott, except what I saw, people were getting stampled, uh, were getting trampled at his show, and he was up there doing a robot. You know, <laughs> so, you know, Billy Eilish has, that's, I think it's crazy how Kanye can go out there and say all the craziest shit, but then Billy Eilish gives her opinion on something, and Kanye, all and, of a sudden, he's the king of opinions. Don't do that shit. And, like, asking her publicly for an apology, or he will pull out of the concert. You know, like, that's the most sexist bullshit no. thing. Like, After seeing what he did with yeah. uh, Taylor Swift, yeah, with the this whole, motherfucker yeah. comes out and just rails on these women, man. You know, mm. Kanye. Dude. He's harassing Kim right now. He's harassing Kim and, and, and Kim Pete Davis. And Pete, Pete Davis Pete, and Kim is borderline gonna get a restriction order. A restraining order. Restraining order. Restraining, restraining order, order too. Restraining. <laughs> <laughs> two them off. She gonna get some uh, chicklings too. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't you mess with my products. My products. Are shit. <laughs> yeah, and Kanye knows that he's got power because he's got. I, I tell you what. Y'all think he's crazy? I do think he's kind of genius because he really knows now how to really use his celebrity and his power. I'll get away with that. all the bullshit. And get away with all the bullshit. But you motherfuckers out there, man, you want to look at us like we're crazy for pointing out the fucking obvious with Kanye. Kanye yeah. is, you know, Kanye's a problem. Yep. But no, the problem is, y'all, this is why everybody's full of shit. I don't care who you are, white, black, gay, straight, in between. Everybody's full of shit. Everybody, everybody's about something until it's something they like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, been, y'all yeah. want to hear me? This is why I didn't want to talk about Kanye because I can rant. I can rant about Kanye all fucking day, man. You know this fool goes up there and y'all. He got y'all, man. This motherfucker pulls. He knows what he's doing. He goes to the Super Bowl wearing this mask, and you're like, oh, that poor mentally ill man. No. This is a, this is a fucking marketing move right there. All right, he's going to go to Korea and play the Squid Game. So, you know, so. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm going to win. <laughs> yeah. sure, man. Are you going to shoot somebody? Or he's going to, or he's going to Middle Earth. What are the- <laughs> yeah. He's an orc. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> nah, Goddamn man. De- Goddamn death dealer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there, there you go, y'all. Y'all want to hear me talk about Kanye? Kanye is kind of a little, a little sexist. Uh... He's out of line harassing his ex-wife and Pete Davidson. Yeah. And he's doing this because also it gets attention. You know, it's not just because he doesn't want Kanye, uh, Kim to be with Pete Davidson. He's, he's doing this because he loves to create drama, which brings attention. You know, the guy's, the guy's an attention whore is what he is. This is the real me, non-medicated. That's the real me. When I don't take my medication. When other people do crazy shit like this, what do we say? Hey, get some help. Yep. You know, we don't say, oh, my God. You know, I I love what you do. <laughs> you know, get out, get out of here, man. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's my whole thing. Kanye just never ceases to amaze me how much he uses his power and his cult of personality to come out and just manipulate people. Uh, you know, I don't really blame Kanye for it, man. I blame y'all. You know, you mm. you talk a lot of shit. And, Enable him. Yeah, you and you talk a lot of shit about a lot of things, but when it comes to Kanye, 
like I said, you're ready to bend over backwards until you, you're almost sucking your own dick. So I don't know what you want me to say. It's very interesting because you brought up the whole thing about making people accountable for things that they say in their past. And, you know, there's certain options. There's certain things that I truly believe that we shouldn't go to the past and dig up shit when shit is not there. But there's other things like Kanye that has been a constant that has been going on for so long that we need to call attention for it. And we need to, you know, call it for what it is and not, you know, give it a pass just because we yeah. like his art. And, you know, hmm. I think he does things to just challenge people and rub it in their faces. Yeah. Uh, you know, Kanye, I never understood why he was just dick riding uh, uh, Trump so much, man. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know, uh, and, he, you know, he, he never Kanye babbled. He talked gibberish. He didn't make any sense when talking to. To, to Trump, and I don't understand what his stance is that makes him love Trump. Maybe if he had a really good stance and told me what was happening, but he rubs into people's faces because people are like, well, I don't know, maybe you come around from all this crazy shit, and he's just like, nah, I still got my hat. Look, he can vote for who he wants to vote for, but he hasn't given me one good reason, a stance, why he would be behind Trump. He just does that because it gets attention. He just rubbed it in people's faces. Yep. You, know, you vote for who you want to, but have a reason. He ain't got a reason except to piss people <laughs> off. You know, Either that or, or self He's a troll. He's, or, a, or, billion do- he's he, a billionaire troll. Oz, what do you think about this? Because I see you there and just like holding it in like you're going to fucking yeah, win. I, 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 I didn't know if you wanted to talk because I put it on you sometimes. You're just kind of like, yeah, this guy. But please, if you got something yeah, to say. Yeah, well, no, I, you, you hit it on the head, man. There's not much to say. I, I don't talk about Kanye. I don't think about Kanye. I'm, I'm good. He makes some, some good music and that is about it. I don't hold him on any other echelon than anybody else. You do something cool, that's cool. You know, but once you start talking crazy, I gotta leave you where you at. Yeah. And, you know, he's <laughs> some real crazy shit, and he's continuing to do that, and I'm supposed to look at him like, well, you know, make excuses. I'm not doing that shit. I don't do for other people. Why am I doing it for you? Because right. what, you make some music? You. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've heard yeah. so many lame excuses Whatever. trying to tr- trying yeah. to validate, you know, Kanye's actions and justify his actions, and I'm like, I don't, no, I don't get it, man. And I, when I, I, it's not like I'm not going to listen to some of his old stuff, but I, I don't give a fuck yeah. about his new music. Listen, yeah, this is the old stuff. It yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. It, I don't buy any of his new music. Just like I don't anybody out there that I don't really like. Uh, you know, it's I don't really support what they do later. There's certain directors who make movies I won't go see now. You know, it's just mean. I'm yeah. not telling other people not to do it. It's like it's it goes back to this whole topic that I believe people have the right to repent, change, improve, and grow because that's what a human being is. Yeah. We're never the same person. We always learn. At least that's what it means to grow up. That's why, like, the whole thing with cancel culture, like, is getting a backlash. And I see a lot of people getting, you know, like, saturated with that. But this is a case that it's not, it's not cancel culture, like, in that quote-unquote sense, because this is somebody that has been given all the opportunities in the world and he constantly chooses to do, like, outlandish, outrageous and racist things. Yeah. You know? If a white person had said some of the shit that he said, oh, y'all, no. would, y'all would make sure that that person oh, never sees the light of day. They would never work again. You would try to ruin their lives. Ooh, that person oh, could have never gone to internet or open a, a email account. Yeah, they, they, no, they, no. They, it would be two decades before they were even slightly forgiven. Yeah. But somehow yeah, this man, I think it's yes. worse because he should know better. Yeah, he gets the pass. Gets, gets pass, but you know, ah, he knows what he's doing, man. And people like to use him for what for whatever reason, man. I think everybody's you know washing each other's hands over there or rubbing each other's asses over there, one of the two, <laughs> because you know everybody's getting something out of it, man. Ass nobody's doing ass. any of these things out of the goodness of their heart. And no, whoever listens to this shit, whoever is posted, we're not fucking hating this dude. We're not. We're telling the truth. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, and yeah. me personally, yeah. I could care less about. This dude doesn't uh, make. Uh, he does nothing f- to. He has no meaning to me in my world. I'm good. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. So how the fuck is it this hating? Because we're just pointing out every his past, what he's done, what he keeps doing, like all the all the people that have gone to him and told him, "Man, stop! This is what the fuck are you doing?" And have confronted him, and he never he, yeah. you know, he never apologized. He never like he's like, "No, this is my, this is the real me. This is who I am." Yeah. Well, this is who you are. Then I have all the right to just tell you off and ignore you and that's another thing you're yeah. being sucking into buying stuff because of his name look I'll, I'll tell you those Yeezus shoes are not bad they're not bad looking man now, I mean, there's probably a pair out there that looks crazy but okay. some of them are not bad but 
I'm not gonna pay. Okay, this shit it looks like it's made from a 3D printer right here. I don't know, but uh, but it's like this right here. This is cool, but I mean, paying like you know hundreds of dollars just because his name is on it. Can I confess something? You bought a pair. <laughs> I got a pair gifted to me for Christmas. Okay, but well, you didn't buy it. <laughs> I didn't buy it, but I got. It. And I love them. I'm like, I'm not even using them. I'm like, those are my private section. <laughs> My bad. You're part of the problem. <laughs> I am part you, you, of it. <laughs> you fell into it. They got you. I fed up. <laughs> Yeezy got you. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <Boy. laughs> Somebody said the New Balance. Man, I got a pair of New Balance sneakers, man. <laughs> this one, this one, this one. I got one New off. Balance. I got. <laughs> no, no, we don't choose. Yo, yo. I got a pair of kangaroos, son. What? <laughs> kangaroos. I was hopping around. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those? I got a pair of kangaroos. They hot. They dope. And I got a pair of sicornias. Yo, son. I don't, you know, I like my sneakers. I'm not a real sneaker head like that. But if they look cool, yeah, you I, go I, I get them. I don't care what they are. Yeah. I got some, I got some Deodoras, son. <laughs> <laughs> son. You got some uh, British Knights on <laughs> <laughs> the, B, the BKs, the son. The BKs, man. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, why? Random Burger Kings. <laughs> All right, It's the John. NYC podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went to talk about shoes. Yeah, more of the story is Kanye sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There, yeah. there you go. But his shoes are great though. <laughs> yeah. But his shoes look nice. I ain't gonna buy them, but nah, hey, you know, they look like a comfortable nah. shoe. But if anybody wants to yeah. gift those shoes I can't, to I, us. I, 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 yeah, I can't co-sign on those sneakers. Sorry, them shoes. I don't co-sign on those. That's I'm good <laughs> you on don't them. co-sign yeah. on those. Nope. <laughs> they look like trash, B. I'm good. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to find something nice to say. Nah, I, I, like, I can't man. be nice on those. Yeah. Rocking around with taco shells on my feet, man. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. These goddamn T-Rex skulls down here, man, people are wearing. Yeah, yeah those are ridiculous, bro. This shit looks like an alien plant people are wearing on their feet. God, God damn, 285? Look at this shit. No. Hell no. I what is that it. phobia where you where you scared of circles and holes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see a bunch of circles like in a pattern and it gives you yeah. that phobia from your skin. Yeah. Spirophobia. Yeah. I don't think it's called spiral. I don't know. I'm making up some shit. <laughs> like, <you're laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't think it's called spiral for Like, nah, no shit. <laughs> Pull that out of my ass. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm in polite, man. <laughs> shit. All right, y'all. Uh, somebody said future Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content, such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 